Hey guys, long time no vlog. It's been like two weeks since the last time I uploaded on this channel, so um, I am so sorry, but I am back. We are going to the city today. I mean, we, I mean myself. Um, I'm gonna get my hair done. It's quite oily because I didn't wash it. I don't know if she wanted me to wash it or not, but I just didn't do it um, because I know I'll get my hair shampooed there anyways. So long story short, I have been trying to grow my hair out for a little over a year now because one, I really didn't like the dye job that the other hairdresser did to my hair. It was including some bleach streaks. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it was a little too yellow. And we never toned it or anything like that because that wasn't what it was going to be anyways. So I was just like, you know, I'm going to just grow my hair out. And then Kimberly saw me last year and she's like, girl. I was like, I know, I know. I already know what's going on with my hair. So... And then not only that, um, during the brunch this past June, I switched my part over. So, um, Kimberly noticed that there's a patch here with like some bleach, like some bad bleach. And I didn't even know about it because when I did my hair, um, when I got my hair done last year, the part was over here. So, Kimberly's gonna fix that today and I just want one solid color for the fall or fall winter and then come CPC next year hopefully I can um, change it to a different hair color like something fun and a lot lighter for the springtime you know winter spring kind of thing hey guys so it's been about 12 hours since I last saw you or updated you with my hair you really can't see the color right now but this is what it looks like and I really really love it. Kim did an amazing job so as soon as I get better lighting I'll show you guys what it looks like but um, I was driving for literally an hour no traffic or anything like that but um, I spent about five six hours at my friend's house and I'm proud to say that they know how to use their silhouette and hopefully um, they can make more stickers. Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, it's been a few days since I got my hair done. I still haven't washed it, but I think I need to wash it by tonight or tomorrow. But you know, it's not great to wash your hair all the time anyways, but now I could show you the actual color. Um, she calls this a milk chocolate because it's pretty much like when you open your Hershey bar, it looks like that, but yeah, that's the hair talk. So anyways, today I'm gonna finish as much Homonichi Lover Sale orders as I can. Before I go, I'm actually burning, well not burning, melting something from the, this is a villainous wax, wax melt and it's called, not defined by a body part. I can't even read it. I ordered this because it said it smelled like Fruit Loops and my paper's kind of close to it so it's gonna smell like Fruit Loops. So, I'm currently cutting um, compression weeks which looks like these guys um, a bunch of <laughs> I have a bunch of bunch <laughs> I have this much cut these are all compression weeks and then now I'm about to do the Hobonichi Cousin and then after that um, print laser laser ones for foiling which I'll show you guys a little bit of what goes through when it comes to foiling stickers or how I make them um, but yeah, there's not much um, cousin kits, which is great, thank god. <laughs> um, but I really really like making the Hokunichi ones because you get three in a sheet and it's like just quicker when it comes to like processing those orders. I think my music player is playing on my iPad but I paused it so that I can show you guys the process to make. Um, what are these called? Foiled stickers. So, the very first thing you're gonna need really is a laser printer and an ink jet. I was gonna say ink jet, but an ink jet printer. And, okay, I'll turn the camera so I can explain to you guys what I'm gonna do. So this is a regular um, ink jet printed um, Hobonichi Cousin date covers or monthly sticker um and then these are called your registration marks and you need that printed so that the silhouette can read it and cut 
whatever you know sticker pattern you want it to be however when it comes to foiling stickers you don't want to print anything close to that because once the sensor can't read this particular square your cut's going to be off or it's going to refuse to cut it entirely like it's not even going to do anything so what i always do is leave like a certain amount of size so that when i run this through the printer the laser printer there is space here for the registration marks so that i could tell the sheet cut it a certain way okay so this is the cut file of the foil stickers anything you see that's black on the screen right now will be printed using my laser printer however right before i do that or i even do anything i have a separate um file that looks exactly like this that have um this as a background and i space it out by three save just the background only no registration marks no cut lines but i already know where my background is placed and again i avoid these spots so if i move this background here i'll just make sure that it goes right there nothing too close to the registration marks because it doesn't like it <laughs> so we're gonna keep it like that but yeah so print everything first with your background no registration marks no cut line and then run it through your laser with this file and then run it through your silhouette and it will be um like a ready to foil hobonichi weeks kit like i said it's a little bit confusing but i think i need to explain it a little bit better when i do that video when i um do the how to foil stickers or how to make foiled stickers but yeah that's one highly highly requested video for me to make since um i started foiling stickers so every shop does it differently but that's what i do that's most efficient for me okay so my laser printer is going but like i showed you earlier this is just a regular pattern i printed it on my paper and then i went through it again on the laser printer this time around and then now you can see the cut file that i was showing you earlier with the black ink and then i'm gonna cut these and then foil them but this is pretty much what you want it to be there is our current pile that we were cutting earlier they're all done these are just extras that i didn't need to do so so once the light turns green i can put this in so i make them in like smaller pouches because when i used to use the big one a lot of oops happening so for this it's just those two and it saves me a lot of foil and also sticker sheets i'm gonna go over here and show you the pile of stickers this is at least uh 200 sheets because there's only this much left in the rim it doesn't look much but you guys that's like two inches tall oh my god that all of it is like printed and i still have to cut all of these and then these um blank ones sort of blank ones needs to be foiled 